In this example, we will be talking about the SysML use case diagram. We will explain what it is and when to use it. So with that, we'll get started. The system of interest that we are talking about here is a cooling system. The use case diagram is primarily used at the concept stage of the system development, where the system of interest, in this case the cooling system, has not been thoroughly defined. We need to frame the problem and brainstorm the problem space. We, we need to understand what do we want the system of interest to do and what are we trying to build. So this happens very early on, as I said, right after you go talk to your stakeholders and get back a list of user needs. For this example, it's been simplified to only four different requirements which are transportability, modularity, price, and air circulation. So what we're going to do is we have our system of interest called our cooling system, which is a pretty abstract term. And then we start adding use cases to it for all the things that we want our system to do. And so we have three ma major use cases here. Cool target, provide white noise for the sleepy person, uh, ventilate the area for the room of the house. You can see we have our actors around the edges here, um, which are connected to our use cases. So what we would do after this is build out a more robust or complete set of use cases with the extend and include relationships. Um, what you're seeing right here is just the operational side of the use cases, but it doesn't have anything to do with um, the maintenance or any of the other special cases, such as Potentially you have a baby in the room and you don't want the baby to get hurt by the fan blade. So there might be some sort of specific requirement later that is talking about safety of the, the blade and how you would want to encapsulate it. Well, you may have to create a use case for that's a, that's a special case there. Um, moving on, you would after you have built out your use cases, and which are behaviors, you would probably want to go ahead and create an activity diagram from the, the main use case or several use cases that will further define the use. So um, you would just click here and then you would start creating your activities here like this to, to give it more detail. Then you've got the fork and you can jump in and see more detail. So once you've built out uh, these use cases, you will start to have a feeling for what your system is supposed to do versus what is out of the scope. And then you can start brainstorming solutions to what the cooling system would be. So that's what we've got here. We've got our cooling system and we've got some potential options. The AC unit, the ceiling fan, the oscillating fan, the box fan, and the personal hand fan. So we can, we can knock some of these out immediately, such as the AC unit, because we had that user need that was system must be able to be lifted and transported easily by a single adult. So we can knock that one out, but you can see that we will be refining this list of alternatives and down selecting to one final um, design, and then we will work that in the solution space. So I hope that helps explain um, what the use case diagram does and how it can help you in the brainstorming aspect of your system. Thanks.